before understanding the hedge positions in interest rate futures contracts it is good to understand the mechanics of pricing treasury bonds and treasury bonds forward contracts let discuss the pricing of a treasury bond as a hedge tool the par value of this bond is $1000 with annual coupon rate of 8% so the semi annual interest payment on this bond is equal to $40 each the bond has maturity terms of 20 years now how to price the this particular treasury bond there is a tool that is the discounting uh, we can use dis uh, the discounting of each uh, bonds periodic payment and the payment of its face value at its terminal life at the uh, certain discount rate and that discount rate in our example is termed as the spot rate this spot rate is denoted as the capital r in this particular case so we see that each spot rate or the r is expressed in semi annual term so each spot rate is equal to 3.92% now this is a one period spot rate to you uh, to discount a one period cash inflow on the bond now we have 40 periods on this bonds accordingly 40 payments on this bond so we will be using 40 spot rates to discount 40 payments in order to determine the price of the bond as of today now let come to the pricing of a forward contracts using these treasury bond as a forward we see on the screen two types of cash flow one is in purple and the other is in green the purple cash flow is denoting the cash flows on the treasury bonds it starts from march 1 and ends on march 1 of the 40th period so there are 40 cash flows on this treasury bonds the other cash flows are related to the treasury bonds forward contracts and its cash flow is starting from some later period and that is september 1 accordingly it is going some one period further that is 40 first period now imagine a forward contract on this treasury bond we see that on march 1 person is agreeing to buying a new 20 years 8% treasury bond in 6 months that is the payment will be done on september 1 the payment under this forward contract or fc is on the march first and not uh, is on september first and here that not on the march 1 at zero time period the cash flows on the treasury bond begin exactly 6 months earlier than do cash flows on the forward contract this means that cash flows on the treasury bonds are starting at time zero whereas cash flows on the forward contracts are starting at period 1 now let's see on the cash flows on this treasury bond uh, we see that cash buying of treasury bond is on march 1 and that is time 0 the first coupon payment on this treasury bond is going to happen on september 1 and that is the date 1 so there would be as many as 40 payments and a, fa a payment on face value of the bond and these two payments will be on the date 40 so far as the cash flows on the forward contracts are concerned the price of the forward contract on this treasury bond is happening on september 1 and that is the date 1 whereas there is a receipt of a new treasury bond on the same day and that is the september 1st the first payment received from the treasury bond on march 1 of the following year and this is in fact date 2 the last coupon payment occurs at date 41 on this forward contract and this will be happening along with the payment on the face value of $1000 of the treasury bond so with these payments how this forward contract on the treasury bond can be priced we have a tool and that is net present value 
so we can use net present value analysis in order to price this forward contract on the treasury bond so we have a, a model in equation form where we are discounting each each coupon payment using a certain spot rate we see that the first cash flow occurs on the date 2 and that is in fact the march 1 of the following year or the year 2 so uh, this payment will be discounted by r2 or the spot rate 2 the last cash flow that is the uh, 41st cash flow which is the sum of the 40th coupon payment and the face value of the bond it is occurring at date 41 so this amount will be discounted using the spot rate 41 the left side of the equation represents the cost of the forward contract as of date 0 so this cash flow at date 0 will be discounted using the spot rate 1 because this is the first cash flow occur at the forward contract now with these spot if these spot rates are known by the investor in the marketplace then we can easily price this forward contract using the process of discounting and with the help of uh, determining the net present value of all these cash flows the forward contract can be priced to a certain value but what will happen if there is any change in the spot rates over the terms of uh, 40 uh, periods of semi-annual in case of rise in the interest rate the treasury bond will have a lesser net present value the value of the con uh, forward contract will go down uh, conversely if there is any fall in the interest rates in the days to come then the treasury bond will have higher net present value and as a result the present value or the value of this forward contract on the treasury bond will go higher.